Okay, we're going to solve this differential equation. We have x times y squared times y prime. This is equal to x plus 1. And by the way, this is secretly dy dx, right? So our goal is first put all the x along with dx together on one side and then the y and dy together on the other side. And since the x is right here already, and I don't want this x right here, let's divide everything by x. So I get y squared, and let me write this as dy dx. And this is equal to, I can look at this as 1 plus 1 of x, isn't it? Well, on the left hand side I have a lot of y's, I don't want to have the dx. So I can put the dx onto the right hand side by multiplying it. So the idea is we multiply both sides by dx, so they cancel, so multiply this by dx. That's what's happening. So we have y squared dy, and this is equal to, on the left hand side we have dx right here, and we have 1 plus 1 over x. And we are good to go. We can integrate both sides now. So let's go ahead and do that. Integrate this, integrate that. On the left hand side, we have y squared, so we just add 1 to the exponent divided by 3, right? So we have 1 third y to the third power. And a small shortcut is, we don't need to write the plus c on the left hand side. We just need to put a plus c on the right hand side, okay? So right here, we have integral of y in the x world, so that's x, and integral of 1 over x in the x world is plus ln absolute value of x. And as I mentioned, we put a plus c on the right hand side. And perhaps I will keep track with my constants, so I will use c1 right here. I will try to isolate y whenever we can, so let's multiply everything by 3. This way, the 3 cancels, and it looks like we have y to the third power equals to distribute 3 into all the terms inside. 3x plus 3ln absolute value of x, and then we have 3 times c1, so plus 3 times c1. One more step, I can actually get y by itself. We can take the q root on both sides. And remember, do not put plus minus when you put uh, when you cube root both sides. So cube root on both sides, so the this and that cancels, and there's no plus minus. And we only have y equals to the cube root of the inside is 3x plus 3ln absolute value of x. However, this part is what constant, where c1 is constant, and 3 is also a constant. Constant times a constant is a constant. And we are done, so we can, you know, just write down like a k or like a legitimate c. In the book, they use k, so I'll put on plus k. That's it. That's the answer. This is it.